Hey guys, so this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Stargirl 304 promo titled Front of Me's Chapter 4, The Evidence. If you guys enjoy the video, if I've been well, Sky for new, turn notifications on, let's watch this promo continue with the video. Cameron? Courtney. Let me help you. You can't help me. I can. You can't. It's okay. <laughs> So, this episode, or the promo at least, was very centric on Court and Cameron. Um, we see Courtney figuring out that Cameron has powers, and that's what's going on with him, because Cameron blows up in Courtney's face when she starts pushing him on some level. He gets pissed off, blows him into a massive ice surge and all that, and Courtney finds out. Um, that's what the promo was. <laughs> Um, I've done this video twice now, <laughs> so there's nothing really to talk about. Cameron, you know, I was his ice powers, he's pissed off all the time, you know, there you go. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, but I want to talk about the killer. Um, which I do think will be a massive part in this episode. And it's the main reason why I'm redoing this for the second time. <laughs> now, um... In the last one I did, the one that I just finished recording but deleted, I said that I don't think it's Grundy because you can't hear him when Sylvester's at the trailer at the end of 303. But you do hear a loud foot stomp behind Sylvester. You hear like two or three. And then he, get, he does get thrown up. So I was incorrect in my review. I did not hear that. So the people who want to say that I'm an idiot... You can click off this video and go somewhere else. Because we all miss things. If you need to act like you're right 24-7, how about you get lost? <laughs> go somewhere else. Go to Twitter. <laughs> Quit wasting my time. Um, but I really do not think it's Grundy. I really don't. I don't think Rick would lie to Courtney, to Beth, or anyone else. And say that it wasn't Grundy. And that he checked. And that it wasn't him. Right? I don't think he would lie. Now, could this be a case of Grundy burying himself? Yeah. But you can't get everything perfectly. You can't. Grundy is dead. He's buried. If he were to dig himself out of his own grave. And then bury himself again. Which doesn't really seem like a thing Grundy would do. <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And also, as I've been saying this entire time, I think this is very, very easily a shift shifter. Because the guy in the security footage room had that breathing. So... I mean, and also another thing to point out here is that when the person's killing Sylvester, he's sneaking up on him, or trying to, but he's so loud that he can't with his footsteps. Sylvester turns around, and you can see the shadow of him. Now, I'll point something out. If you slow it down, you can see him growing, it looks like. And I'm going to... Try to do it. Yeah, he's slowing down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's right behind him in that scene. And it looks like he's growing. I really do not think it's Grundy. I think it is one person which is in that control room with the cameras. And I think it's undoubtedly someone who is a shapeshifter. I don't see what the hell else could be this be. It's not Grundy. You can say that all you want. The grave that he's in would not be what it was, and Rick would undoubtedly notice that. Could there be someone else burying him again, and this would be a two-player game? Yeah, but that doesn't, again, it would not be what it was before. You can try a hundred times over, and it would not be the same. Rick would notice that. I really don't think it's Grundy. <laughs> I, I've rewatched the ending of 303 literally five different times. 
Does it seem like him? Yes. But at the same time, we also thought it was Sylvester about ten times over. We thought it was a Crocs another three times. And we thought it was Cindy. <laughs> this entire season is full of misleading. I really do not think it's Grundy. You can, you know, say that I'm wrong in the comments. You know, it's my opinion, but what does my opinion mean, right? <laughs> because it's YouTube and you can't have opinions on YouTube. But, look, I really do not think it's Grundy. And frankly, I would be surprised if it was. Just because of the fact that it looks like he is growing in that scene with Sylvester. You can see the shadow just, like, going up. That could be the monster thing going there, right? But Grundy isn't that quiet. If he was there the whole time, and then he just started walking up from a distance... Because we saw Sylvester look around him when he arrived. He didn't fly in. He either drove or walked there. Right? So, it wasn't like the environment... You know, he just... And Grundy is not small. He can't just hide behind a freaking tree. And the trees... The trunks are huge, yeah... But not enough to cover, like, a 12-foot-tall monster, okay? It's not. It, you can't hide Grunny behind a tree. <laughs> like, no. And if he had started walking, you know, he would have been very close to him, it seemed like. Because he couldn't have been that far away. I really don't think it's Grunny. You can say it is. I know there will be someone who will, or some people who will, because there has been. I really don't think it is. I think whoever the hell is in that security footage room watching Court and the JSA and Sylvester and Pat and was watching the Gambler and the Crocs, I'm pretty damn sure that's the killer. <laughs> I mean, God, I, I don't see what else it could all be. Could it be an organizer? Yeah. Could it be someone who's controlling them? Yeah. Could it be Mr. Bones. But we know it's going to be wrapped up soon. He's not going to last long. Brock even said that. She confirmed it. And I'm pretty sure the show owner did too, if I remember. I don't know if he did interviews or not. But I remember hearing confirmed in different places that Mr. Bones will be wrapped up earlier in the season. He, like, he's not the big bad. He's not the killer. Doesn't mean this isn't a two-person plan here. You know, it could be Grundy and Mr. Bones. I don't know. But... I really do not think it's Grundy. You want to think that? That's great. <laughs> but if you look at the facts, you will come to the conclusion that it's not Grundy. The fact is, is that if Grundy managed to dig himself out of his own stupid grave, I mean, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Because then he had to bury himself again because Rick went the next day and checked on him. The grave would have been unset. It would have been off. You know, and again, yeah, the other person could have, you know, tried to put it back together. But it it was literally the exact same. <sighs> no one's that perfect. You can't make everything the exact same until you screw it up. So it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. And even if... Because some of the is a dumb excuse, like, oh, they just put more dirt down there and they moved other dirt. No, even then, it would not be what it was before. And Rick would notice that. Like, no, and why would he do it now? <sighs> the amount of times Rick has moved Grundy, and he's still dead? I mean, Shade even confirmed that, that Grundy's dead. Unless it is Shade, and he's a killer, and he's supposed to controlling everything. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, frankly. Because he was wearing the same coat when he left. He was wearing the same gloves when he left. You know, that breathing, I don't know what the hell it is. But the guy in the control room had pretty much the same exact breathing as the guy that killed, or tried to kill, Sylvester and the thing that killed Gambler. It had the same kind of breathing. <laughs> was it amped up? Yeah, because it was like a 12-foot tall monster. But I do not think it's Grundy. And I, it's definitely not Mr. Bones, because Mr. Bones was talking perfectly fine at the end of season two. 
and you've seen that we got him in. You can't tell me he has a breathing problem <laughs> because we heard him breathe, and that was not his breathing. <laughs> I mean, unless they're going to change his character up in season three to where he has a breathing problem, you know, which they never, I don't think Sargo's that stupid enough to do that. Because they would literally throw everyone off. And it would not add up with his material with Ovi Gamers or Bones. It wouldn't. So, you know, I think the more logical answer is that it's shade. You know, that green crap that's affecting him. Could be that. Um, you know, he did make amends with the gambler. Maybe he just wanted to piss him off again. You know? Um, it's clearly not the Crocs. It's not Cindy. It's not Sylvester, clearly, because he got attacked. And also, Sylvester doesn't make that kind of breathing. I don't know why anyone thought it was Sylvester in the first place. <sighs> like, yeah, 301, you know, I can get that. But when we heard that roar after Gamber was killed, why did we all assume it was Sylvester? <laughs> Do we just think he was, like, outraged, like, you know, making a roar noise for killing someone? Like, that makes zero sense. Like, come on. <laughs> I really don't think it's Cindy. There's no way it is. Like, she has alibis and alibis and alibis. It's not the Crocs. We learned out what they did. It's not Sylvester. Unless he attacked himself, which is pretty stupid. I do think Shade is somehow involved. I'd be surprised if he wasn't, frankly, with what's going on with him. I don't want him to be the killer, to be frank. But who has number one motive of going after Sylvester? Right? Because Cindy was there after the gambler got killed. Court and the others were a good few, you know, like a ways away from the scene. If it was Shay, he could have gone in, killed Cindy, gone before anyone else even noticed. But they didn't. The killer could have stayed, right? Saw Courtney, went after all of them. Probably could have killed him, frankly, with how strong that person is. But he didn't. So we're looking at Gambler and Sylvester. And I think the killer thinks he just killed Sylvester. But he didn't. We know that. There's the people pointing out all day <laughs> that the trailer showed Sylvester in the suit that Pat made him at the end of 303. So he is alive, supposedly. Unless the staff saved him again. Which, how the hell did that even work? I don't know, but, you know. But what are we dealing with here? I do think that if it's not Shade, maybe it's someone who has powers like Shade. Dio is a shapeshifter, like I've been saying. Because if it is that person in the screening room with all the cameras... The amount of force you have to apply on a trailer, like Beth said, would be like if a tornado came in and just wiped it out. That's what it'd be like. There's no legitimate way to prove anything here, you know? Yeah, Shade was okay with Gambler, but maybe he wasn't. I mean, he clearly got, like, really scary angry with Sylvester and Gambler. He's not that way around Courtney. He's not that way around the new JSA. He's not that way around Pat. He's only that way and was that way around the Gambler and Sylvester. So the more and more I think about it, the more and more I talk about it, yeah, I think Shay is most likely the person who's doing it. Did he have an alibi? Yes. But the thing is, is that there's security footage in the diner that this guy's watching. So... Is that really a good alibi? And we didn't even see it. We didn't see him in there. <laughs> we didn't. Like, we should have been able to rule Shade out to 302, but 303 in the ending, with him, with the guy in that room, with the black glove, clenching his fist, that deep breathing voice, and a trench coat, which is lining up with what the Shade wore when he left in 302. When he said he was leaving to deal with something that was rather ghastly and ugly <laughs> and big. I don't think he was talking about Sylvester because he was said that. 
Could it have been Grundy? Yeah. But why didn't he tell Rick? There's zero reason to not tell him. If Shade is on their side, he would have told him. Like, there's no way. Like, Shade wouldn't betray them that easily because of Sylvester. He wouldn't. I do think Sylvester was targeted for something he did to this person. I think we're going to see that play out in 304. I really do. In 305 and the rest. But I think that's what we're looking at right now. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.